Good morning, museum friends and families. It's Miss Teal from the San Diego Children's Discovery Museum. It's really hot outside, and we can't see our friends like we usually do, or go the places we like to go in the summer because of the coronavirus. We're kind of tired of just playing with our brothers and sisters, and our brothers and sisters are tired of playing with us too. Sometimes we have to give each other a little space. What can we do? I know what we can do. We can make some art together. But first, I want to tell you about an artist by the name of Didier Trilia. He's going to inspire our artwork project today. He's from southern France. He's super creative. He makes creatures that look like animals a little bit and like people a little bit. Didier likes to make things out of his food. Do you ever do that on your plate? Didier likes to make faces from rocks he finds on the beach. Can you see the eyes? He is most famous for making artboard from drink cans. We've been using a lot of those around here lately. I bet you have some in your recycling. We'll use those. Here is my artwork that I did inspired by Didier Triglia. I call her Minnie the Mean Monarch. She yells at the bees when they don't give her all the nectar. Doesn't that look like fun? Go find a can and join me over at the craft table. For today's project, you need a crushed can. Have mom or dad help you with that if you're not strong enough to smush it yourself when you step on it. We're going to be needing Elmer's, markers, all kinds of really nifty recycling. This is packing material from an Amazon package. Here's some leftover glittery paper from when I made Minnie the Monarch. Things like pipe cleaners are great. Colored paper, if you have them. Today, I think we're going to be using our templates, a can, and regular white copier paper. You can see that I put a great deal of white glue on the back of my can. And I've put little jelly rolls, I call them, of tape on there as well to hold it in place while the glue dries. Do you know how to make jelly rolls of tape? You take a piece of tape about that long and then you're going to fold it over so it sticks on itself just like that. Now I'm going to flip this over and stick it on to my white paper. I have to tell you right away, I saw a bird in my squashed can. So I am going to use a little scrap of paper to make a beak. I'm going to use my glue stick. Here we go. There's a beak. Our eyes, our nose, and our mouth give us character. We read faces all the time. We can tell right away that Didier's kitty is not too happy, is he? What tells you that? Well, his mouth and his teeth are wide open and showing. His eyes look bright and upset. 
What do these eyes say? This one tells me that I'm surprised. This one might tell me I feel kind of silly. And this one tells me maybe I'm sleepy or looking down. These eyes are going to be looking right at me, trying to figure me out. What can lips say? I'm sad. What does that tell you? Are we happy? I want to tell you something. I'm going to yell. I'm laughing. And I'm talking. Well, I cut out and I colored. My sleepy bird eyes. I'm going to glue them on now with a glue stick. I kind of like the idea of giving him a mouth, not just a beak, but it still kind of looks like a beak, doesn't it? So I'm going to glue this right here. I'm going to finish up with my artwork using recycling and coloring and I'll see you back here when everything is done. Well, I am done with my Goonie Bird. Inspired by our inspiration artist, Didier Triglia. I used pipe cleaners for the feet, recycling for the wings. I used my templates for the eyes. I tried different styles of eyes and mouths. I decided on a real happy bird because she's having a great time up in those purple branches. For more online activities, go to online.sdcdm.org. We'll see you next week for another fun art project. I hope you had fun during today's activity. I know I've been having so much fun learning new things and finding ways to share them with you. Even from a distance, here at the museum, our goal is to continue offering these free educational resources but we need your help to do so. Please tune in to our virtual gala on September the 17th from 5.45 to 7 p.m. to support the museum during these unprecedented times. We'll even have a fun performance by Hullabaloo. You can find more information at sdcdm.org slash virtual gala and I thank you.